Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where each week I pick you out a lovely question to help you get prepared for your GCSE Maths exam. Now, I've got an absolute treat for you this week because we've got something completely brand new to GCSE. If you were a year older, you would never have the delights of that tackling this kind of topic at GCSE, aren't you lucky? And this question is all about the topic of iteration. Now, how, how on earth do you know it's a question about iteration? Well, you know because you start to notice these funny little symbols. And I wanna just talk briefly about these before we crack on. Cause what the flipping heck does this mean? X and a little n plus one. Oh, my pen's uh, there we go, x and a little n plus one. And then we've got a little x with a little n. What does this mean? Well, this simply means the next x value, and this simply means the current x value. That's how I like to think of it. So whenever I'm looking at this question over here, all it's saying to me is the next x value equals one over two times the current x value squared plus one. So it's just kind of funny terminology for that. That's all it means. So in fact, this brand new topic of iteration, once you can read it, is in fact just substitution. Algebraic substitution, substitu substituting numbers into formula. Once you spot that, it's actually not that bad. So let's take a little uh, look at this question in a bit more detail now. So it's going to say to me, x m plus one, we now know that that just means the next x value is equal to one over two lots of the current x value, xn, and it tells me that to start with, let's say that x is minus one. So one over two lots of minus one squared plus one. And that's it, we've transformed this dodgy iteration topic into a very nice algebraic substitution. But I'll tell you something, we can still go wrong, so let's be really careful. So, laws of bid mass, bod mass, ped mass, whatever you wanna call it, I've gotta deal with this squared first. So what on earth is minus one squared? Well, that's minus one times minus one, which is positive one, don't make that mistake. So it's one over two lots of positive one plus one. Well, one over two lots of one, two lots of one is just two, so one over two is just a half, plus one is one whole and a half, or if you prefer to think of it as 1.5, treat yourself whatever you want. But that is just algebraic substitution, and that gives us our correct answer of D. But you know what I'm going to say next, regular viewers. We're only having half the fun if we leave it at that. Because where do these other three wrong answers come from? Why have AQA decided to include those? Let's have a look at minus a half first. Well, I reckon you can end up with minus a half if you suddenly change that plus to a minus and end up with a half minus one. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why on earth would people do that? Well, I'll tell you why they do that. Of course, they spot that minus one there. They get obsessed with that. And they suddenly start changing all the pluses into minuses. Make sure you do not fall into that trap. Read the equation exactly as it is, really carefully. What about B, positive a half? Where might just positive a half come from? Well, this is a classic mistake. I see this all the time. And it happens around about here. Imagine that at that stage you say to yourself all right okay so i've got to do minus a half squared so minus a half times minus a half sorry i've got to do minus one squared minus one times minus one is minus one and then you end up with one over two times minus one is minus two and when you get something like that that's where positive a half comes from but of course you know that minus one times minus one is positive one don't fall into that trap but this one I think is my favorite. I absolutely love this answer. This one, C, one and a quarter, eh, one and a quarter. Where does that come from? Well, this is your classic misunderstanding bid mass again. So take it from here, one over two lots of minus one squared. Imagine you did two times minus one first. So you do two times minus one, that's equal to minus two. And then you've got minus two squared to deal with. And you say, well, Minus two times minus two is positive four. So you end up with a quarter plus you one, and that's gonna give you one whole and a quarter. 
but that is just by getting your laws of bib mass the wrong way around. So to get this question on iteration right, firstly, you've got to know what these dodgy little symbols are all about. Then you've got to be able to substitute numbers correctly. Then you've got to know to do your laws of bid mass. Then you've got to get your negative things right and do things in the right order. Then you've got to combine fractions and whole numbers. There's a load of stuff going on, but it's all stuff you've done before. So it's not really new stuff, but just be so, so careful with it. Um, when it comes to thinking of an extra wrong answer that you might include, maybe for like answer E or something. Well, I was thinking of three quarters is quite a good one. Can you see where someone will get three quarters from? Well, basically it comes from this. It's kind of like a double mistake. Imagine you made that mistake first. So you did two times minus one first. And then you said, well, minus two squared minus two times minus two is minus a quarter. Then before you know it, you do minus a quarter plus one, which is going to give you that positive three quarters. But of course, that's wrong as well. So look, iteration's nothing to be scared of, but it is something you need to prepare for. You've got to make sure you know your symbols. You've got to make sure you know how to substitute and all that kind of stuff. Try the rest of the quiz out. Give all these a go on my Diagnostic Questions website. And then hop on to MrBartonMaths.com if you need any videos, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you for a fresh Question of the Week next week. Take care. Bye for now.